I've been part of the, the youth teams since U16. And then, yeah, it's just a process. You know, you, you go in and you compete against the best players your age. And, and then even when I went and got called up in 2019 to the U20 World Cup and I played two years up with the, with the national team, it's all, it's all just a process and ultimately you want to get to the senior team because that's the best of the best. Yeah, looking back, it's, it's been a long ride and it, it feels good to, to you know, get, get this call up and, and to see all the guys on the roster. It's just humbling to see all the hard work that I've put in and to finally be where I want to be. It's just a different type of feeling. So I'm pumped to go into to this camp and I'm going to just take it like any other camp, whether it's, you know, U20, U17, U23. I'm going to just take it in like, like any other. I'm going to just go in and do my thing. And it's good to see the progress that I'm, that I'm having and hopefully I can just keep climbing, keep climbing the ladder. My first camp was in, in Florida a couple months ago. It got cut short for me of, because of my injury uh, to my quad three days into camp. But it, it was so good, honestly, just, just competing against them. You know, it was all MLS-based players. So it was good to see, to see how far I am, you know, from their uh, level. So yeah, it, was, it, it, felt, it felt good. It was, it was humbling to compete against those players. Uh, and honestly, I did not feel out of place one bit. I thought I did my job for the days that I was there. And yeah, now this one coming up, even bigger names, all the guys playing in Europe. So I'm gonna go in there and, you know, work my ass off and, and just ready to compete versus them and, and learn from them. But yeah, I'm, I'm going in confident.